Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the Sonitas gate, which comes with the full-blown version of Sonar 8 or 8.5, I think, to clean up this voiceover, or at least clean it up as best we can. This is a, a voiceover that was recorded on a site called Vocaro, V-O-C-A-R-O-O. -O. It's uh, a website where you can go to and record a voice and then it's really easy you just click the button and you you go ahead and do your voice recording and you can email it to people or you can download it so it's I have a client in California that's just not very tech savvy but she's a professional speaker and wanted to make a DVD she could sell at her seminars and this is the only way I could figure out to record her voice without um, having to go out there or her having to do some kind of computer skill that she just can't handle so Anyway, so what we've got is a really bad sounding recording. It's recorded, I think, at 22K, and it just doesn't sound very good. You can listen to it a little bit. Again, we're going to bring you out of that deep state of... So as you can see, it's got a whole lot, even right between her voice. Look at all that noise in there. You can see how loud it is. So what we're going to do, I went in, I right-clicked, and I went down to Audio Effects, and I went down actually in my shared plug-in folders where I had these Sonitas plugins so I've added this gate the Sonitas gate which is right here I've already been playing with it a little bit but I'm going to bypass it and let you hear what it sounds like again we're going to bring you okay now I'm going to click it on now you can see it cut out all again, of that going to bring you out of that deep state of relaxation but it's kind of cutting her voice off Up, a little bit um, so we're going to go over these controls a little bit. This depth is an amount that the noise gate will pull the volume down when it's shut off. Uh, generally speaking, a noise gate opens and closes, and when it opens, it lets the signal through. When it closes, it turns the signal off. And that depth is how low the volume will get when it shuts it off, depending on how low you pull the fader down. With this, what we want is an automatic shutoff between her voice and um, the noise. So you can cut out the noise in between where she's speaking and when she's not speaking. Uh, the key is to make it not sound too unnatural. So like with that depth right there, if we put the depth at zero, it doesn't cut anything off. This is basically the volume level that it pulls it down to. Okay, so we've got... If you can kind of pull it down enough to where it doesn't just totally shut it off, it, it sounds Again, a little more natural. Out of that deep state okay, of another thing we can do is set the attack. This is how quickly or how uh, slowly her voice will come on when the gate opens up. If I put it at zero, it's immediately coming on. Again, we're going to bring you out of that deep state of Now it's. Um, chopping her voice Again, off a little bit. Bring so let's look at this release. Again, we're going to bring And also the threshold is how loud her voice has to be to open the gate. So let's pull the voice the gate. Again, we're going to bring If the threshold is way up here, it'll basically cut her uh, voice off. So we need to mess around with it and try to find Again, we're going to bring out of that deep state make of her relaxation count you Again, we're going to bring you out of that deep state of relaxation, count two. Uh, and that actually doesn't sound bad right there. Again, we're going to bring you out of that deep state of relaxation, count two, up from. So, and also there's this look ahead feature that looks ahead from where you are to try to adjust these things um, ahead of time, which I think is a pretty good feature. Uh, the release is how quickly after she speaks that the gate shuts off see that cuts off so really quickly so you the best thing I think to do would be to um, get to where the gate shuts off or doesn't shut off immediately but rolls off where it kind of tapers off that way you don't notice it just shutting off like crazy but also try to make it to where as soon as she gets through speaking it's rolling pretty quickly because um, you're going to hear a little bit of hiss on top of everything too 
um, when the gate opens up you're going to hear the noise that was already there so you, you just don't want to draw attention to this um, another thing is this high cut filter this is an EQ filter basically a, a low low pass filter from ten so if you start pulling this back this way you can see the frequencies going down that's cutting the frequencies that are up in this really high range so this doesn't have a lot of good up from 10 and her voice is pretty crunchy sounding so that messing with that would probably help the situation this low cut is the same way it's basically a high pass filter which means that the low frequencies pass through so if I pull this up to like a hundred that means that anything below a hundred is going to be just rolled off with a sloping curve and her voice doesn't have a lot of low end on it anyway so you might as well roll it off nine but the key is to make her sound as so, natural that's it for as this possible. video uh, for um, more videos the like other this thing go is to just make sure online. that her the volume level is. and we'll see you next video so you've got plenty of signal there's a volume control right here so you, you want to keep her level up to where she's not Ten. but that's pretty much it for for this um, this voiceover is not going to be perfect but it'll be a whole lot better than it was when I got it